Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Skylar Zimney. And I'm Jacob Miller. Coming up on today's show, we have information on how you can stay busy this summer. That's right. We also take a look at one student who is helping the younger generation find their voice on stage. All that and much more because GTV News starts, starts right, right now. now. Welcome back to Neva and hear your morning announcements for Friday, May 26, 2017. I always love seeing all the talent here at GHS and the Skaldic is no exception, with tons of great writing and artwork from all the students right here at GHS. Absolutely, and yours truly even has a piece in this year's edition titled The Dirty Mirror. Well, now that I have to pick one up. If anyone forgot to purchase your copy of this issues if this year's of this year's issue of the Skaldic, you can still get one. That's right. You can see Mrs. Peters in B126 or email her at hpeters at geneva304.org. Supplies are limited, and once these copies are sold out, it will be gone. All Frosh Fest members, please remember to register for the Frosh Fest training. Sign-ups are in the Counseling and Advising Office. Additional give hours are available to anyone signing up for the event. Also remember to sign up for the Remind account. The textbook room will be taking senior textbook returns this upcoming Monday from 10.30 to 1, Tuesday before school from 10.30 to 1, and Wednesday from 10.30 to 10.45. Make sure that you turn in all of your textbooks in time. The show put on here at Geneva are always so great. I hope the younger generation continues to carry on that theatrical tradition. That's right. And GTV reporter Julia Rain has a story on one student here at GHS who's helping the younger generation carry on the tradition. Take a look. It Does he not a have a clip? It had a clip. My name is Nathan Castagna and I volunteer at a children's youth theater program. Everyone goes like that. So everyone goes. Well, I got involved in um, performing when I was in second grade when I did my first show. Piece of yeah, tape on the back of your neck or no? When I was younger, me and my cousins, we would all put on shows in our basement and it was really fun. So then I decided to do it. Do you want a head mic? Some goals that I have for myself is continuing to get better with working with kids and pushing myself to become a better performer. <laughs> the coolest thing that I've done is honestly just get to meet so many different kids and um, spend a lot of time with them. From last May, I volunteer now over 450 hours here. So I just love it and I couldn't imagine my life any way else. All right, Mia, you're good. My name's Nathan Castagna and I'm Student of the Week. Wow, it's wonderful that he's helping kids find their voice on stage all while pursuing his passion. That's right. I'm always amazed by the talents and generosity of the students here at GHS. With school coming to a close, there's finally time to get a job. Check out the job board located across from the nurse's office or go to snagajob.com for more options. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Warren in the counseling and advising office. <laughs> And now for some news outside the halls. Two nurses were held hostage by a Kane County Jail inmate on May 13th at Del Nor Hospital in Geneva. The nurses are filing a lawsuit suing a guard, Kane County, and the hospital security film, claiming they failed to properly monitor and secure the, pr the prisoner. One of the nurses was injured along with being tortured, abused physically and mentally, and raped. Neither nurse has returned to work. 26 people have been killed in Egypt this morning after an unidentified gunman opened fire on a bus carrying Coptic Christians in what officials are calling a terrorist attack. It was not immediately clear who was responsible for the shooting, but Coptic Christians have been targeted by ISIS militants several times in recent years. Now let's bring it back to home. The girls' soccer team has been kicking butt this year. They are currently ranked 7th in the state and top 50 in the country. The team has a game tonight at 6 p.m. at Hoffman Estates. During this time, they will be taking on their biggest rival, St. Charles North. St. Charles North is ranked 1st in the state and 9th in the country. But last time these two teams battled it out, it was a tie game. Make sure to head on out to Hoffman to support the girls tonight. 
Last night, the boys' varsity baseball team took on Addison Trail to advance to the regional championships. They beat them 7-1, to one, and their next game will be at Addison Trail against South Elgin. Good luck, boys. The softball team is also having a great season and has advanced to the regional championships. They'll be taking on Yorkville at Yorkville at 11 a.m., and they hope that you can come out and support them. Good luck, ladies. And now here's third note before we go. Make sure to go to Hoffman Estates tonight to support the soccer team. All freshman boys who want to play summer basketball meet in the cafeteria after school. And make sure to pick up your copy of the Skaldic. Well, Geneva, that's all the news we have for you today. Make sure to follow us at GTV304 on Instagram for updates throughout the summer. I'm Jacob Miller. And I'm Skylar Sydney. Have a great last Friday before break, Geneva.